PBs. We come and got to accomplish what we've been trying to do for six weeks. Um, you know, it was it was a great way to start the season. Um, yeah, get back in here, full crowd, the atmosphere. Uh, the players have been working hard for six weeks, so to get rewarded with that type of win is a good start. To get jumped like you did and then settle and get back in the What did you focus on when you were trying to settle it down? Uh, look, they come out and they, they made some good shots. They, they come out well organized. Uh, for us, it's about how we play more than anything else. And we just weren't really executing. And then once we settled and we got a feel for the game, uh, we played really well the rest of the way. The second quarter, our defense was very good. How do you describe Christ's performance when he had 22 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, 6 steals? That's it. <laughs> no, look, I've been I've been talking about our defense and rebounding and and different things, and I've always said like it's not always up to the big guys' responsibility for rebounding. So with the likes of him, Mitch Norton got some great offensive rebounds. Luke Travers, uh, Webster, you, you know the guards play a very integral part in that all, and he was rewarded tonight with twelve of them. Bryce, you presented big games. Um, I mean, I'm just happy we got the win. Um, at the end of the day, uh, it was a lot of excitement. And uh, I think the good thing about us was, uh, as Coach said, you know, they came out and blitzed us to start the game. But then we trusted our defense. And all of a sudden, they kind of got our offense flowing. And um, from there, we were just locked in. And it seemed like everybody was connected pretty much for uh, most stretches of the game. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how I played. But I'm happy with how the team came together as well. It was a great team effort. Uh, we got a little more aggressive and assertive. Uh, you know, we played a little bit on our heels to start the game with. Uh, you know, I think just first game, it, it, you just don't know how it's all going to go. But then once we picked up our aggression, the guy defending the ball, the guy defending the ball screen, but the guys off the ball were, were very proactive and you saw the deflections and the steals from that. Uh, and I think tonight was the first time where we saw guys like trusting what we've been doing for six weeks. And I, I don't know, but I think they had 13 points in the second quarter. Yeah, I'll say that. Yeah. And on the playmaking as well, it was 24 assists for well luck, but obviously Bryce had a big number, but Travis and Thomas, I think both had six and seven respectively. Just getting Look, as we constructed the roster, that's a very important piece. When I when I look at a basketball team, you've got to be able to play, share the ball, and be willing to share the ball so we go from good to great with our shot selection. And when you have willing participants in that, everyone gets to be an active participant in the game, and you saw that tonight. And for us, similar question to you with that big assist total and playing with I mean, <clears throat> it's just great the fact that we have so many different weapons and everybody has a selfless mindset um, trying to pass up good shots for great ones. So obviously, just as much as my teammates benefit from it, I benefit from it as well. But that's what it's about, playing for each other on both ends of the floor. Um, but to do this in the first game of the season, you know, where uh, it actually counts. It was uh, pretty exciting um, to see, but you know we still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, look, uh, you, you could see he brings great versatility in the front court. Uh, capable scorer, very willing passer, and just a smart basketball player. So I think you're going to see. Uh, stat lines where he can have like a Luke Travers Im impact where it's points one night, rebounds, assists, steals, um, and, and he really complements what our group is about. We weren't sure whether you are going to go with Travers or Blanchard. Travers comes to the bench as a huge impact player. Yep. How, how was that decision made around what you wanted to be done? I flipped a coin at the start of the game and said, Blanchard, you won the co coin cost. No, look, in all honesty, um, Luke Travers has come off the bench his whole career, um, but he's also been productive. We got Corey Webster, you could argue he's a starter. Jesse Wagstaff come on and played very meaningful minutes 
majuk majuk. Like everyone has a role, and the, the best thing so far is preseason. Everyone got to play, everyone got to start, be in different roles. So now we're just going to go in in as a team, and it was the first time I've had a full deck of cards to play with. Oh, it's always fun. You know, that's that's my brother right there. So uh, it's always a joy to compete against him. But, um, yeah, I was just glad I was able to get the win, though. Is it different when you, when you look up and eat in your face? No, I treat everybody the same. But, you know, as soon as the game's done, it's back to being all love, though. John, just one for you personally as well. You've been around this league and coached in basketball for a long time. But what was it like coaching your first game as a head coach and just, I suppose, being the man? Yeah, very like very emotional day. Uh, I've never been up so early in my life before. Um, I, I, I've certainly never eaten breakfast before 6 a.m. before and uh, walking. You know, so like there was a lot going through my mind. You play a lot of different scenarios through your mind. Um, so to get the first one done and dusted with, uh, I can come in a little more composed next time. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, I didn't realize what we're doing, but it's a Zoom. I didn't realize. There we go. Thank you.